welcome to Aki Smash Studios tutorial. In this video, we're going to be using some ray casting code from a previous video, which I will link below, so that we can ray cast to the actors that we want to duplicate. We're going to be creating the duplication using an Unreal function called spawn actors that will take in the information of the hit actor. As you're watching, if you find this video helpful, please remember to like and subscribe. So to go ahead and begin, we're going to open up our My Character script. You don't need our specific character controller, however, if you do need a character controller, I will link our tutorial in the description below, but you can add this to whatever character controller you already have. So we're going to go ahead and go up to our header, and the only thing we're going to be adding to this is a new function, and it's going to be void, I'm going to call it duplicate, and it's going to take in an actor pointer that we're just going to call original. And that's all for the header, so we can go ahead and go to our CPP. And inside this, we're going to want to go down to the code that we created for our raycast in the previous video. And this little output line that we created so that way we could see that it was actually hitting the actors, we're going to go ahead and delete that and replace it with our duplicate function. And inside this, we're going to put our hit.getActor. And in case you didn't watch that previous video, all this ray function is doing is creating a raycast that goes straight out from our player based off our forward vector. And then we check to see if that raycast hit a pawn within our world. And if it did, then we go ahead and call our function inside our if statement which before was just a debug, but now is going to be our duplicate function. And now we can actually go ahead and create our duplicate function. So it's going to be void a my character duplicate. And again, its argument is a actor original. And inside this, the first thing we want to do is just check that original successfully passed. So if there is an original, this just allows us to make sure that there aren't any null errors. And so after we've checked that original actually exists, I'm going to create two random numbers. And this is solely so that way I can have the duplicated actor move from the origin of the original actor. But if you're not wanting the actor that's duplicated to randomly spawn, you don't necessarily need this. So I'm going to do a random int in the x direction. And the way we do this is with fmath. And then we get a rand range. And I'm just going to do negative 500 to 500. And now I'm going to do the same for the y direction. And again, fmath, rand range. And I'm just going to do the same range of negative 500 to 500. And now that we've done this, we can go ahead and start the process of duplicating that original actor. So the first thing you're going to need are spawn parameters. This is already a thing built into Unreal, so it's f actor spawn parameters. I'm just going to call mine spawn params. And then I'm just going to give it a default. So f actor spawn parameters. And we're just doing, again, the default constructor. The one thing I'll be changing for these parameters is the template, as I need to say that I want the original actor to be the thing we're spawning. So we're going to take spawn params, and then we're going to get its template, and we're going to make it equal to the original. And all this is saying is I want to base my new spawned actor off of the original actor. And now what we can do is we want to check that there is a get world. Again, so we don't run into any null errors. And then if there is a get world, we'll go ahead and call that. And inside this world, we want to spawn an actor. And this is going to be of a actor. And then we want to go ahead and give it its location. So I'm going to do f vector. And I'm going to give it a random x, a random y, and a 0 in the z direction. 
So at first glance, it looks like the location of our new actor is going to be between the range of negative 500 and 500 in the X and Y, but in fact, the spawn actor function takes into account the original actor's position. So this is the equivalent of saying, I want my new actor to be at the position of my original actor plus the random number. And so the next argument is going to be the player's rotation. And I don't care if its rotation is different once it's spawned, so we're just going to do a F rotator and we're going to give it a default constructor. As again, I don't want the rotation to change when I spawn in the object, but if you are wanting a different rotation for your new spawned object, you would change that here. And then finally, we need to give it its spawn parameters. And again, the spawn parameters is going to have that template of our original actor. So this is all of the code for this video. So we can go ahead and save and we'll go back to our scene and we'll compile. And now we've finished compiling. So we're going to go ahead and drag an empty actor into the scene. And I'm going to add a static mesh component to it. And then we're just going to give it a cube. And I'll go ahead and make this a little bit bigger. And I'm just gonna move this a little bit over this way. And now we can go ahead and test and play. So again, if you didn't watch the previous video, this raycast is what we did in that. And now if I shoot the cube, you can see that it duplicates that actor within the range from the cube. And again, it's doing a range between negative 500 and 500 for the location based off of the hit actor. So as a recap, we created a duplicate function that allows us to take in the hit actor from a raycast and then use the information given from that raycast to spawn a new actor that's based off of that hit actor, and then we place it at a random location, but in relation to the original object. As always, I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments, or you can join our Discord and ask them there. We post videos here every Wednesday and Saturday, but we also stream games on Twitch Tuesday and Wednesday. On top of that, we have our own game on the Google Play Store called Blast Off, and we have a Unity asset pack of kids' toys. We also have a Patreon, so if you would like to support us in any of those ways, all of those links will be in the description below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.